Hi, Speed Jim here, and I thought I'd go over some of my camping gear that I'm going to take on a uh, upcoming camping trip uh, on the motorcycle. So I've got my gear sorted into several small little bags, and uh, I find it's a good way to keep stuff together, organized, and also for packing it on the bike. So this first bag, the black bag, is all my cooking stuff. And I've got things like my um, little jet ball stove. I've got some silver, long, long spoons. Got a, a little collapsible bowl. This is kind of cool, I like this. Inside I've got a collapsible cup and a tea kettle. This will hold I think a liter of water. Got some uh, little spices, I've got salt and pepper, I've got cayenne pepper. Um, some nature's all seasoning, and I've, st I've still got two spaces left open. I haven't decided what I want to put in there yet. It's kind of a work in progress. Got a little spatula, and I've got my uh, little Sawyer's um, water filter. If you fill up a uh, little bag with water, whatever water, then you screw this on, and you can squirt water out, and it runs it through the filter. And I've got a couple of these uh, little collapsible little bags. You can put, you know, whatever you want in them, whatever kind of liquid. And what's nice is as you use the liquids, they eventually they'll go flat. I've got some camp soap. And then I've got a titanium mug that I carry. And uh, of course, I got my adult beverages, and if I'm going more than a couple people, I've got these little uh, solo cups that I keep in this little Stanley folder thing. And I always take a couple little bags with me for putting trash in. Whatnot. I've also got a, a little scrubby pad that I cut up and I fit in a Ziploc bag and that way I can put it away wet and not have to worry about getting the rest of my stuff wet. So that's everything that's in my little cooking bag. Cooking bag and I just kind of keep, you know, assorted stuff in here. I keep fuel, got my little blow up pillow. Portage. Got a little uh, Altoid skin kit. I keep a lighter. Got a little light. And I keep one of these little can openers. These are pretty cool. I'll open up the can pretty quickly. The Altoids tin is kind of a work in progress. Let's see. I've also got a little light that I just got. And it's uh, pretty bright, but it's the cool thing about it is if you hold the switch in, it's dimmable. And when you turn it off and turn it back on, it comes back on to whatever level you had it set at. And then she got some more cordage of being a different uh, thickness. This little blue line um, is good for a 400 pound test, which I think the uh, paracord is only good for around 500, 550, something like that. This is 
stuff back in there. Let me go yell at the dog real quick. He doesn't know I'm recording. This little red bag, this is kind of the fun bag. It's uh, got the fire stuff in it. I've got a little lantern, candle lantern. That I kind of enjoy. Pops up, it's got a little spring in here that pushes the candle up. And each one of these candles burns for uh, about nine hours. And these are the candles. I've got uh, two regular ones and I've got a citronella one in there right now and this is another citronella one. Let's see, pull one of these out so you can see. So it's about as big as my hand and that'll go nine hours. Kind of cool. Puts out a good little bit of light. Sometimes when I don't feel like bothering with the fire, I'll just do this. But I've got some waterproof matches. Got a couple fire steels. I've got a little piece of a uh, fat lighter. I can just scrape off some shaving. And then the latest thing I've done is um, these are little cotton makeup pads for removing um, makeup. And what I did was on the inside, on the two outside ones, I only coated them with uh, Vaseline on the on the one side. The rest of them are coated on both sides with Vaseline, so I can just peel one of these off, and uh, light's really easy. And by having the uh, outside not coated, you know, it's not as messy. But it's still got Vaseline on it, so if I, you know, run out or run low, you know, I can still use those two on the ends. Let me put this stuff away and then we'll do the uh, next thing. So the uh, next thing I have is a uh, little first aid kit and I'm not going to take all the stuff out but um, it's in a little kind of uh, water resistant dry bag um, and I've added a few things to it um, but it's got you know things bandages and uh, aspirin and Benadryl and you know stuff like that. It's also got um, a little bit of duct tape in there uh, a needle and some thread Just you know general things that you might might need And then I do two things for food um, Depending on what I'm gonna take along with me. Um, I put most of my dry food um, you know, things are in packages, uh, I'll put in this little bag, um, you know, right now I've got some ramen noodles in there, some granola bars, um, I've got tea bags and some sugar, and you know, just things like that, um, snacks, that kind of thing. Um, and I've also got a towel, one of the pack towels, this thing is, is a rather large one, but it absorbs a lot of water and it dries dries real quickly. So I like that. The other thing I do with my food is I have a little cooler, and this cooler will hold it'll hold 18 cans of soda or beer or something and ice um, usually I'll only take you know like maybe five or six cans and ice and then I can have you know some food if I want to take eggs or you know some kind of meat that I want to grill um, I can put it on this and when I mount it on the bike it makes kind of a backrest for me 
So that's kind of a, you know, an added benefit. And then last, I've got this dry bag. And in my dry bag, I generally keep three things in there. I have a camp chair. I have my tent. This is an REI half dome tent. And then I have a Thermarest uh, cot. And this thing is cool. I love this. It uh, fits in the tent barely. Gets me a couple inches off the ground. I can sleep on my side if I want to. Um, I just I can't say enough about this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load all this stuff on the bike and show you how it travels on the bike, and then I'll take it outside. I'm going to set up the tent, the cot, and the chair, just so that you can get an idea of you know what the three of those things look like. So here's what the bike looks like fully packed. Got my cooler on the back seat, tied to the uh, sissy bar. We got my dry bag strapped as well as uh, cargo netted on. It's a nice clean setup. In this saddle bag, I've got my uh, sleeping bag there in the back. And then in front, this is my uh, rain gear. And I've also got room for some clothes. On the other side, I've got my cooking bag, my possibilities bag, my fire bag, my first aid kit. I've also got a uh, air pump and a tire patch kit. Um, you know, a few little straps, extra straps and things. In that side. So I can access my cooler by just untying this one knot and I can get inside the cooler if I need a drink, you know, if I stop somewhere um, and the cooler is still strapped onto the bike with this strap around it. So I don't have to worry about it falling off on the ground. So it's a pretty good setup. And then when I'm sitting on the bike, I can actually lean back and use this as a backrest. So, you know, it works out kind of cool. So here's my little camp chair. Just puts together really easy. Pretty comfortable. And then this is my tent. I don't have the rain fly on it, but I've got the uh, cot. And the cot gets you about three inches, four inches off the ground. And uh, it's pretty comfortable. This is a two person tent, but with the cot, it's basically just a one person tent. So anyway, 